Building diversity in Canada's stem cell donor base happens here in testing clinics aimed at the country's ethnic minorities. Around two-thirds of registered donors are of European origin. Their cells probably won't help people from other backgrounds. Organizers of this clinic for Chinese Canadians say there's been little outreach to their community. Some people are still reluctant to be tested or donate. For the Chinese, ethical Chinese, they, that they since we've been working on it for over two years, now we uh, can raise up to 7%, but even 7% is not a big number. It's even more challenging to find a match for people of mixed backgrounds. 13-year-old Aryan Din Ali is of Vietnamese and Afghan origin. He has aplastic anemia, a blood disease that can only be reliably cured by stem cell transplants. Three years of searching in Canada and around the world have yet to find him a donor. It haunts me daily. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. If a patient you know, is Caucasian, the chances of him or her having six or seven or eight possible matches on a registry to another patient because of their heritage lineage that they don't even have one at all. Marketing executive Mei Duong got leukemia in 2013. She needed stem cells, but her Vietnamese origin meant fewer donors. But one did come forward, miraculously, she says, and now she runs a campaign called Swab the World, and that's literally what she wants to do. It is. <laughs> it is literal, because everybody should get swab. Everybody should know about how stem cell donation works. And it's not only in Quebec and in Canada, but we're aiming the world. Stem cells can regenerate tissue and treat an increasing range of medical conditions. But as long as cell donor registries don't reflect the societies around them, doctors' options are limited. Uh, stem cell donors can help people not just with blood cancers like leukemias and lymphomas, but also with immune disorders, genetic diseases, blood disorders of, of other types. So it's quite a, um, a broad uh, therapeutic field. Ariane's anemia is in remission now and he's able to study, play and behave much like other 13-year-old boys. But he'll still probably need a stem cell transplant one day. He and his family are waiting for a match. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, near Toronto.